All right, guys, how's it going? Well, I've just had to break away from the Barclays Women's Super League to bring you breaking news that David Ornstein has surfaced. Serious business. Uh, I know I've got the lighting on because it's night time, so I'm not going to adjust the lights. I don't think it's going to make me look any prettier. I know I've got a face for radio. I know what you're thinking. All right, turn the fucking lights off, Dunk. I know, all right. Uh... So, but it's what it's what you hear is is, is the most important. I think he's speaking in Spanish. How fucked up is that? Right. So as you can see, you know, I, I, I'm very enthusiastic when David Ornstein surfaces. Now, there's only two journalists you should listen to concerning Liverpool Football Club: David Ornstein at the Athletic and Paul Joyce at the Times. That's it. Right. And Fabrizio Romano. Mo Salah. Now, if you don't know why I shout out every time I mention Fabrizio Romano, just ask in the, the comment section and someone will put you right. So, serious biz, right, when Ornstein surfaces. Now, I'm going to let you in to a little secret, if you don't already know this, right? <clears throat> a friend of mine was telling me about this. If you uh, cannot access a link behind the Times paywall or the Athletic paywall, go to a website called, are you ready? Are you ready? Write this down. You're going to need this. You're going to need this on your phone. All right? Archive.ph. Not www. Just, just put archive. A-R-C-H-I-V-E. Dot P-H. Right? And it'll look like, it'll, it'll look like that. Right? I, don't, I can't show it right. Because right, it'll... it'll uh, what's it called? Glare, it'll be glary. It'll blur. Right? Uh, archive.ph. And what you do... Is you go down to the to the bottom bit, the blue bit there, and paste in the link from the Athletic or the Times uh, to uh, to get a snapshot of the article. You'll be able to read the article. Maybe not immediately when something's first published, but certainly within a few hours. All right. Yeah. You need to follow my content. I'm a fucking good friend to have. Do you know what I'm saying? DKB don't know best. Now, let's focus on what he's been saying. Now, first of all, David Ornstein has written a massive article. He ain't putting that much effort in, right? If it's a load of bull, right? David Ornstein is what you would say the closest, in my opinion, to the big cheese within FSG, right? Paul Joyce is more to do with, you know, the, the people that run Liverpool Football Club in the city, right? They do cross over, but, well, uh, from time to time, but more so Ornstein would cross over maybe to, to know the people, to speak to the people that run the club at Liverpool and the owners, but I don't think you see that going in the other direction from Joyce. He's more to do with the people that run Liverpool Football Club. It's important because when you see them write articles, you've got that little bit of knowledge now as to where things, stuff might be coming from, right? So the headline is, Michael Edwards close to FSG role with Richard Hughes as Liverpool Sporting Director. You could Google that, for example, Get the link, paste it into what I've just told you, and you'll be able to read it. Uh, or you could join our uh, our chat room, right? Which is where I'm reading, where I'm going to be reading this from. T.me forward slash cop talk chat. Just jump into the chat room and there you go. Uh, and T.me forward slash cop talk news. Right. Um, so the article, Michael Edwards close to FSG role with Richard Hughes as Liverpool Sporting Director. Hardly a shock, right? Uh, you know, we've, we've spoke about Michael Edwards going back. We spoke about Richard Hughes. I know a lot of people think, you know, he's got the job, it's nailed on. Even Ornstein's saying here that this hasn't been decided yet. I've been a little bit cautious with the Richard Hughes stuff because I know he was linked with Newcastle and stuff like that as well. Um, and I think his appointment at Anfield is, uh, you know, has always been like part of like uh, a team, if you like. So Edwards becomes the main man. Richard Hughes becomes a sporting director. Richard Hughes is his friend. Um, etc, etc I just think it's just been all like lots of different possibilities, right um, so sometimes like the stuff that might be in this article, some people go, we already know this, but what it is, right, it's who's saying it that's important, right so it's who's saying it that's important that's what's important to me personally when I when I analyse and review news uh, and I know David Ornstein here won't be chatting shit, okay? Uh, Michael Edwards is close to agreeing a senior role with Fenway Sports Group, which would include the former Liverpool executive taking oversight of the club's football operations. If Edwards accepts, if he accepts FSG's offer, the sporting director position is expected to be filled by Richard Hughes, whose exit as Bournemouth technical director was confirmed on Wednesday. Um... 
I don't think I, I need to read too much more of this article to you because that is uh, basically the, the raff of facts of the situation. While a deal is not yet done, discussions are progressing and it is anticipated a definitive resolution will be reached early next week. All right. So it ties in with what, you know, the owners you know, want to do. They want to have everyone, you know, like a sporting director, everyone in place, not everyone, not the manager, but, uh, you know, the, the, those position, that position filled in, in, in March, is, which is what we heard. I thought we might see an announcement around the 17th, 18th onwards during the international break. This would take us to say uh, the fifteenth of March. We, we don't, next, uh, within it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, uh, the appointment of Hughes has always depended on FSG securing Edwards, and I think that ties in with uh, with my opinions over the last week or so. I, I would agree with that. I think I've kind of insinuated or suggested that um, not that I had any. You know, inside knowledge, just common sense as to how it was all starting to sound. Um, Edwards is known to regard Hughes among the industry's leading operators. All right. Um, it is unclear what Edwards arriving would mean for his commitments to lunatics. <laughs> I do that on purpose. Ludonautics, a sports advisory firm launched alongside his former Liverpool colleague, Dr. Ian Graham. Um, And that's it. So that's that is um, that's all you need to know, really. The, the article is 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 way more in depth than that because it starts talking about what did Michael Edwards do at Liverpool, who's Richard Hughes, and all that. All right. So I think it falls into our way of thinking recently that if Edwards was appointed in this new position, uh, that he would more than likely bring in Richard Hughes. Uh, I didn't think that Richard Hughes was nailed on to be sporting director without Edwards. So I think this is the kind of opinion that we've all had here, haven't we, uh, over the last week or so. So that I find it um, quite interesting. Sorry, I'm getting lots of notifications, uh, as you can imagine at the moment, with people uh, discussing this. Um, so, like I say, in some regards, some people might say, well, this is what we expected, don't you? Yeah, but... David Ornstein, there's no way in a million years Ornstein would run this uh, without the blessing of FSG, in my opinion. Because the days of, you know, old school journalists, you know, having their ear to the ground and, you know, finding things out and running with it, it's gone. It's all controlled now by the owners, by the people that run the club, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, Joyce, in my opinion, Joyce and, and his article or whatever he did yesterday, I think that was possibly coming from the Edwards side of things. Uh, this now has probably been Ornstein, you know, speaking to someone in FSG, probably John Henry, Tom Werner, maybe Hogan, I don't know, right? Uh, just speculating and saying, right, what's the crack? And now he's, he's, he's gone with the full fucking thing, right? So it all ties in. It all sounds like it's progressing well. Uh, you know, we've seen other clubs providing running commentary of their sporting director situations. We haven't really seen that with Liverpool, but we haven't seen it. No running commentary. Uh, and as I've said to you, no news is, is usually good. This is positive. This is good, uh, I think, because then we can then start to look at the managerial situation and rest assured they'll start looking at recruitment and things like that, the stuff that the fans really give a fuck about. Um, however... Um, we then have to consider who Edwards might fancy or propose to be the next manager of Liverpool Football Club. Uh, so that's a topic for tomorrow, I think. Um, although I am about to make another video. Can you believe it? The effort is, is unreal, isn't it? Um, I must say, uh, before I sign off, um, uh, Paul Williams, 6259. Thank you so much today for hitting the super thanks button. Uh, uh, buy me uh, a few drinks for the weekend. I really do uh, appreciate that, Paul. And I will give you a mention in tomorrow's morning briefing as well, just in case uh, he doesn't see this video. And um, yeah. <sighs> right. All right. Uh, listen, I'm going live on here uh, in about an hour. Well, it depends when you're watching the video. I'm going live at 8 p.m. UK 
on Friday evening. Come along for a chat if you want. Uh, let me know what you think about this development. Does it, you know, does it make you wet? You know what I mean? Are you like jizzing? Are you like, yeah, man, come on. Or are you like, yeah, whatever. Uh, Richard Hughes, mm, yeah, he's not someone that I would have been, you know, championing in his own right as a sporting director. But if Michael Edwards um, thinks he's the man that should be working with him, then who the fuck am I or anybody else to, to question that? Uh, they're said to be friends. So, but, I, you know, the professionals at the end of the day, people don't just get jobs because you're pals with someone in this kind of shit. You know, this is a, a massive, massive company, Liverpool Football Club. I hate saying company, but it is, right? So, and the owners aren't daft. They're not daft. So um, we can we can maybe take a look more at Richard Hughes tomorrow or whatever. But that's the latest news on that front. And like I say, I towards the end of a video, I always like to say, well, why have I made the video? I've made the video uh, to tell you that Ornstein has surfaced. Uh, and this isn't just a random journalist saying these things. This is the main man, right, in my opinion, uh, in terms of you know where he's getting that information from. He will have the blessing to do this because if he ran this without their blessing, they'd just cut him off. So mark my words, FSG are happy for this to be out there, um, for you to know about it, for me to know about it. Um, and I would imagine it's you know to the point where they think, well, if he takes the job, great. You know, the fans are going to be happy. Uh, we're happy. Everyone's fucking happy. Um, if he rejects it, if he turns it down, um, then we we tried. You know, we tried. But I'm not sure he would turn it down because Richard Hughes is now involved in this. So if Edwards turns it down, then Richard Hughes is, in theory, in limbo because he just left his club, right? So it looks like this is going to happen. And I think you would agree with me with that. I hope you appreciate the video. If you do, please hit um, a thumbs up. Doesn't mean you you agree with me. It just means you appreciate my effort. Um, and uh, please leave a comment. Comments are very important. And if yeah, if you, I'm I'm going out for a drink tomorrow afternoon with my friends. Uh, I didn't see them last week. So if you want to buy me a drink, please hit the super thanks button under the video. Uh, but if you're a Muslim, I'll settle for a coffee on Sunday morning. All right, all right, guys. Don't forget, I'm live on here uh, Friday night. 8pm UK time uh, and hopefully I will see you then.